stay inside Kruger National Park itself, you must either spend the night in a protected rest camp or as part of a properly approved and supervised tour safari. But on the fringes of the park are luxury game reserves, with the same access to wildlife and with armed rangers who are assisted by experienced Shangan trackers to help find the game in their natural habitat. This is one of those game reserves, Mala Mala. It's about six hours by road from Johannesburg, but a much shorter journey by air from Johannesburg to the local airstrip. Mala Mala was once a reserve where visitors, including members of royalty, came to shoot game animals, which were making attempts at cattle farming on the reserve very difficult. In 1964, Mala Mala was purchased by the Rattray family, who added the modern comforts that are part of the reserve today. The object of the reserve's visitors, which have included several Hollywood film celebrities, is to get a glimpse of the big five, that is, lion, leopard, elephant, rhino and buffalo. In just two days at Mala Mala, I was lucky enough to film four of those five. A little more time would have easily completed the mission. And you don't always have to wait for the Land Rover ride through the bush to see these animals. Sometimes, all you have to do is step outside your luxury hut. The popularity of Mala Mala is also due to its excellent staff, including the rangers who protect you and are very enthusiastic about teaching you about the animals in their environment. But while the rangers and their Shangan trackers may get out and start tracking the game animals, the one strict rule is that visitors stay on board the vehicle and don't make any sudden movements when wildlife is near.
He's not here. He's not here. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, can't. Ranger's determination to find the leopard that had killed a bushbuck in the reeds paid off. The leopard was resting on the ground after hauling the remains of the bushbuck up a tree to protect its kill from marauding lions. While the leopard relaxed, our ranger told us more about the animal's behaviour. They basically have territories, that's male and female, um, and they, they're solitary, only basically meeting up when they're mating or if the female has cubs, then she's with her cubs until they leave her. Um, they basically they have a core territory within their territory, which they patrol often, as well as a, a, a sort of a, the territory is more spread out as well, uh, not only the core. And they patrol these boundaries uh, often, um, scent marking by spraying urine. Then came this exquisite photo opportunity.
you know, on a number of occasions, especially last year um, when we had a drought in this part of the world, um, the buffaloes are very weak, and we had, I had many experiences where I actually managed to see lions catching and maybe killing buffalo sometime. It might sound gruesome, but it's just that's the way of nature. On a number of occasions, the lions did come off second best um, if they maybe catch a young buffalo at the back of the herd as the herd ran off. Um, the, of course, the young buffalo would bellow and the rest of the herd would hear, and they'd come back to basically save the youngster and lions would often end up with tails between their legs.